Carlo up. It's one of the ancient city's simplest charms, a little-known culinary treat. Carlo, a cultural dish introduced to St. Augustine in the 1800s by families brought to the new land from Menorca. Perlo is a rice dish with similarities to jambalaya or paella, but with a unique spice. Perlo at its very simplest is onion, tomato, some spices, and some meat. There are many varieties of perlo. What's common to all of them is this rice, and second is seasoning with dattle peppers. Frank Usina is a great grandson of those early Menorcan families that made perlo. His restaurant, Aunt Kate's, named after his grandmother, serves up the Menorcan specialty daily. In true local fashion, you gotta know the lingo. We spell it P-I-L-A-U, pronounce it B-E-R-L-O. The spelling's not important, it's the lore of the dish. Flagler was out sailing in February of 1900. He definitely stopped and asked my grandparents to prepare some oysters for he and his friends. That's Henry Flagler of East Coast Railroad fame. As the story goes, Flagler enjoyed the getaway so much he would bring guests to be entertained and fed by the Usina family. They definitely ate perlo. My grandmother was known for her perlos. The spicy Menorcan rice dish still thrives in St. Augustine, especially through a number of longtime family-owned restaurants. The cool thing about perlo is there's no set recipe, so it's kind of like a family. They're all unique. No matter where you order it, it's always going to be a different experience. Yeah, yeah, there, there's hundred different versions of perlo. Every family makes a different one. Jay Collander is head chef at Aunt Kate's, where the Usina family recipe is still served to visitors. What sets this recipe apart is uh, the use of allspice and brown sugar. It's offered every third Friday at Osteen's, another local favorite. Chef Tim Cooley's been serving up this family recipe alongside southern veggies for over 30 years. There are plenty of spots in St. Augustine to satisfy your perlo pursuit. Surf the local specials or check out the annual Menorcan Festival. Serving it up Menorcan style, I'm Janice Jones for Visit Florida.